Charlotte, NC, in golf's pandemic world, golf without spectators has often felt like the beach without sun. For Rory McIlroy, the return of living, breathing souls along the ropes, behind tee boxes and surrounding greens, ever so slowly but increasing week by week, may have been just as important as straightening out the issues in his game. Some of those remain, but the doubts about winning do not. Given a boost by what was anecdotally the largest number of spectators to attend a PGA Tour event since the return of golf nearly a year ago, McElroy overcame a shaky final hole at Quail Hollow to earn his first title in nearly 18 months. It was his third win at the Wells Fargo Championship, where he got his first PGA Tour victory in 2010, and 19th of his PGA Tour career. And it might have come with the biggest exhale and most relief. It's never easy, McElroy, 32, said afterward. It felt like a long time since that victory in China. The world is a different place than it used to be. And a lot has changed for me. I'm a dad now, and to break the drought and win here again is special. McElroy was on the verge of tears afterward, and that's saying something for a guy who never seemed that far away but nonetheless had taken quite the tumble since getting to know. One in the world early in 2020. That was pre-pandemic. McElroy has been the first to admit he has not been the same since returning from a 13-week shutdown last year. He remained no. One when golf resumed but slipped all the way to 15th this week, his lowest spot in the official world ranking since 2009. He's now 7th. It's awesome to play in front of these people again, McElroy said. When we came back from the pandemic, break, I thought I'd enjoy the peace and quiet a bit. But I learned I needed this. I feed off the energy so much. The crowd has been awesome all week. I really think they helped me. While he shot rounds of 7-2, 6-6, 6-8, 6-8 to defeat Abraham Anser by one stroke and Victor Hovland and Keith Mitchell by two, McElroy did not do it in conventional fashion. McElroy's strength has always been driving, and there is still work to be done in that area. He spoke earlier in the week about trying to go with a consistent left-to-right fade off the tee, one that instead saw him often hooking the ball into the rough. The four-time major champion hit just three of 14 fairways on Sunday and only 19 of 56 for the week. And no miss was more harrowing than the one on the 18th hole, where he hooked his tee shot into a hill and saw it kick right almost into the water. McElroy determined that the ball was unplayable, took a penalty drop, then hit an 8 iron 196 yards to the green. It led to his only bogey of the day. Still, two putts were enough for a satisfying victory. His last win came at the 2019 WGC HSBC Champions in China, part of a run that saw him finish among the top five in seven consecutive